Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one, we're going to have a look at um, a quick way to show you how to do like a, a quick shuffly techno um, rolling baseline um, that a few people have sort of been asking about on the forums as to how to um, create a sort of uh, a certain baseline. When in fact, it's not really a baseline; it's more just um, a rolling kind of tom um, or kick drum. Um, pattern underneath the the main drums um so i've got a, a pretty similar idea as to what i'm uh, what i was aiming to show okay so i'm just going to show you how to create something like this i'm going to insert a new midi track and i'm just going to drop in an impulse drum machine or any kind of drum machine and in here i've got a couple uh, samples and I'll just bring across this drum machine actually. So we've got a kick drum, pretty standard stuff, and a wee uh, snare. I've just turned on the soft control, it takes away the click. And then we've got a, a rhythm here. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to select 16th notes. And I'm going to draw in 16 of these notes. And I'm just going to mute these other tracks. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play about with the, um, the velocity controls on each of these. So I'm just going to draw on a quick wee rhythm using our pen tool. Need to make sure we're not selected on any of the notes, which we are. See there, now it's in a bit of a rhythm already. But the main kind of trick really comes with the um, the groove uh, templates here. So if you go to your library and just grab a groove type, uh, make sure it's on the 16th notes. I mean, there's loads of different presets in here. We're going to go to the SP1 or SP1200 group. Grab one of these and drop it on. Let's try something a bit more. Is that 58 one works quite well? I'm just going to draw in a auto filter means you can sort of filter this in. And then I'm going to drop in a saturator just to um, uh, bring out the sort of bottom end of this. And you can sort of play about with this until you get a sound that you're happy with. It's a wee bit of trial and error at this stage, especially with the uh, saturator. We could turn on the wave shaper controls and, and add some more distortion in this way.
Okay, so you obviously need some sort of compressor on here to sort of control this a wee bit. So we can drop that in as well. Bring the output volume down a bit. Output volume of the uh, saturator as well because it's running quite hot into the compressor. So you can go back in here and you could try um, changing your sort of rhythm around to um, add some more volume in different places. When you are using this uh, um, velocity control down at the bottom here, you need to make sure that you do have it on in your impulse machine. Um, we've got it switched on for our snare at the moment. You can see here down at the bottom, we've got velocity. This controls how much it actually listens to it. Try adding it in maybe to the kick drum. So that works quite well there. I mean the got the snare listening to it but um, the kick drum not so much I mean you're not restricted to using a kick drum here either I mean you can use um, the likes of toms um, come back out here I'm sure we can find another hit somewhere Kick drum obviously gives a, a, the greatest effect. And then when you combine it with uh, maybe some percussion. get a nice sort of uh, rumbling bass line. It doesn't require any sort of bass in there to carry the actual song. Okay, so that's just a few wee tips um, and sort of tricks and techniques on how to create that kind of uh, shuffling sound. So it's it's all based around the, the groove pull here um, to get that kind of shuffling rhythm. And then you can add a wee bit of saturation and stuff there at the other side. And um, you can maybe even sidechain that. Um, but I wouldn't do it too much because uh, 
you wouldn't want to um, sort of distract from that sort of rhythm. You could even try um, maybe a, a, a low pass rather than a high pass. To get that same kind of sound. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you again then in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.